Tanson, <laughs> I can't do it. I Don't <laughs> One case you could just tell you as in Wokwe, and I seem be in him send out. And quite now, Sundaipa, and Miss Camerfi. Say you in him send out your poor do baby. And so we are doing. To be a few coin chair. And say Biana or Tom for Bishop, baby. So why be here? Yes, right on fine chair, no more which are no bank. Say yes, sir. Now, Nipa Bonibi, those who are from me on fine chair. You come in, you can say, because <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, I go. He holds that future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Because he lives. Because he lives. I confess, I, I confess, confess tomorrow. Because he lives. All fear is gone. All fear is gone. And now I know. Yes, I know. He holds my future. And life is worth living just because he lives. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we offer thee heartily thanks for the grace and the virtue made manifest in our brother Tony de Graff. And we most humbly beseech you, O oh God, to give us grace to follow the good examples that by them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom through jesus christ our lord can i hear amen? amen father of spirits we have joy at this time in all who have faithfully lived here on earth and in all who have peacefully passed on we give you thanks for the life and the memories my dear brother Tony de Graft. For thy dear holy God, who compasses us with a cloud of witnesses and makes the distant heaven a home to our hearts, may we be followers of those who now inherit the promises through Jesus Christ our Lord. Can I hear amen? Amen. amen. Now can we all say the Lord's Prayer together? Our, Our Father, who art, art in heaven, and will be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the is thy kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, we once again thank you for the life of our brother, Tony P. Graft. Today, even as he finally goes home, we preserve his body and we say, Lord, take him safely to your bosom. We ask that, Father, you also comfort the family, comfort the wife, comfort the children, comfort the extended family and friends and loved ones. We thank you even for the life that he lived. And today as he departs from this home, we ask that Father, let your peace and your blessing go with him. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen.
No kind of space woman.
our other tale, that he may share in Christ's victory. And let us pray for ourselves, that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery your servant Tony, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Would you please be seated for our readings from the Bible? Because our present perishable nature must put on imperishability, and this mortal nature must put on immortality. When this perishable nature has put on imperishability, and when this mortal nature has put on immortality, then the word of Scripture will come true. Death is swallowed up in victory. Death, where is your victory? Death. Where is your sting? Now, the sting of death is sin, and sin gets its power from the law. So let us thank God for giving us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. What whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my help. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, and this I learn: to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to save the sweetness of the Lord and to behold His temple. The, the Lord, Lord is my light and my help. O oh Lord. Hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm in his heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. Will you please stand for the gospel? It is my Father's will, says the Lord, that whoever believes in the Son shall have eternal life, and that I shall raise him up on the last day. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still. And trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father 
except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In a few moments' time, we'll hear some personal tributes from and reflections from some of those who knew Toby best and who can attest to his love for Adria, Renette, and Selwood, his academic and professional achievements, and his quiet, patient, and loving nature. And although Toby's life ended so tragically and abruptly, we can all join today in giving thanks for the love that he gave to and received from all of you who are here. The love that makes us who and what we are. The love of God in us that transcends even death itself. We have come to Tony's funeral today to do four things. To give thanks for his life, and for all that he meant to us. To comfort one another in our grief. To pray for Tony's soul. And to commend him to the mercy of God, his creator. And though we come today with many emotions, grief, sorrow, perhaps even anger or regret, we come in faith and in hope that God, who created Tony in love and to be loved, holds him in his all-powerful embrace. Now physical pain, suffering and death can no longer touch him. And we are here too because of our sure confidence and certain hope in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Jesus' resurrection is the cause both for our hope and even for our rejoicing in the face of death. Because our Christian faith is that, through his death and rising from the dead, Jesus has defeated all that would ultimately stifle our human flourishing and separate us eternally from God. Jesus' death and resurrection have brought an end to the ultimate enemy of human life, death itself. They have forgiven our sins and opened up to us the possibility of eternal life with God through a life-giving relationship with Jesus, his Son. There are many people in our world who do not have this hope who say that death is the end of our existence as human beings. But in the face of death, suffering, injustice and pain, the Christian faith offers a unique perspective and a living hope. It is our belief and sure conviction that every human life is precious to God. And I hope that in God's purposes of humanity, all that would seem to defeat life and love here on earth is reconciled and resolved in that place where, as we heard in our reading from St. John's Gospel, Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us in heaven. It is in this hope that we come to commend only to God today. God created him in love and to be loved. And we can be confident that as Tony now enters a new phase of his existence, he will, in God's nearer presence, know more of his mercy, his grace, and his love as he continues his journey to that place that Jesus has prepared for him in heaven, in his Father's house. 
Tony's death was both tragic and a devastating shock. But the manner of his dying does not define who he was or continues to be. Our Christian faith teaches us that our lives as human beings are not defined by our status in life or by what we own or how much money we have in the bank. Rather, our work is found in the dignity bestowed upon us by God, who created each and every one of us to live in and to reflect his love. No matter how long or short a person's life is, it is given its true meaning by and fulfills its true purpose in our capacity to reach out to others in generous acts of compassion and mercy, and to accept with grace the love that others show to us, especially when we are suffering or in need. It is this love that made Tony who he was, just as it is this love that survives him in the memories we treasure today. And what of us? Well, in our gospel reading, Jesus speaks to us too, telling us not to be afraid, but to have faith in him. If we put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ, our whole perspective on life, death, and human existence will be transformed. No longer will death be a frightening catastrophe at the end of a person's life but it will be the gateway to an eternity spent in the fullness of life and love with God. Likewise, faith in Jesus not only brings hope in the face of death, but gives us a blueprint for human living now, enabling us to be reconciled to God through Jesus' death in heaven here on earth, in a relationship with Jesus his Son, who is the way, the truth, and the life. And so, as we come to commend Tony to God's mercy, let us pray for one another and for ourselves. And let us take the time and have the courage to ponder those big questions and ultimate realities of life and death. And may each one of us put our faith and trust in Jesus' saving death and resurrection and in his precious blood, as we pray that Tony may rest in peace and come to the glories of heaven, where, by God's grace, we will one day meet with him again. Amen. We stand to sing the hymn, Thy be with thou great redeemer.
those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Tony received the light of Christ, scatter the darkness now, and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. May friends and members of our families who have gone before us in the way of the kingdom be granted eternal hope with your Son in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, Many die by violence, war, and famine every day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love, and bear them for the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The family and friends of Tony seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother Tony. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. In one communion with St. Benedict and with all the saints in heaven, let us ask our Lady to join her prayers with us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, Hear the prayers of the redeemed and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us pray together in the words that Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. We say that to God be the glory.
Biography Tony de Grapp. Born to Captain Kofi de Grapp de Bois and Madame Comfort Marvel in Temporary, Tony arrived with his sis twin sister Annette. The twin were born five years after evening. They were to be followed by Joe, who also arrived five years after them. Tony had his primary education at Tema Parents Association School, where he wrote his common entrance examination. He continued his education at Presbyterian Boys Secondary School, Legon. After his GCSEs O level, he continued to do his sixth form at the Tema Secondary School. Tony furthered his studies at the Institute of Management Studies in Kumasi, where he pursued a course in purchasing and supply chain management with the Chartered Institute of Purchasing and Supply, UK. Upon successful completion of his course, he gained employment at the Material Management Division of the Electricity Company of Ghana as a purchasing officer, a senior position he held until his resignation in 2021. Tony met Adwoa in 1989 and courted until 1997, when they got married in 1998. They were blessed with a beautiful baby girl, Brunette. Not too long after, in, 20, in 2002, they had a handsome baby boy, Swilly. In 2021, Tony resigned his job with the electricity company of Ghana to join his wife in the UK. After a few years of working in various companies, Tony took a bold step to further his education. He enrolled at the Southgate College before gaining admission at the prestigious Brunette Law School to pursue his LLB degree. After graduation from Brunel University in 2011, with a bachelor's of law degree with honors, Tony took a further step to pursue his LLM degree at Aberdeen University in Scotland. He pursued his master's of law degree in international commercial law in 2012. His desire for academic excellence fired his enthusiasm, and he again pursued a postgraduate diploma in legal practice at the BPP Law School. Tony worked in Scotland for a few years, a few months, before gaining a position in Oxfordshire County Council as a senior procurement officer, a position he held until his untimely demise. Tony achieved so much in his short life, and his legacy forever will inspire all who crossed his path. He will be missed as a son, as a brother, a husband, and an uncle, a friend, and a colleague. May his gentle soul
be their father, caring and loving, the best dad they could ever wish for. You worked so hard, using every opportunity you using every opportunity you could to develop and to provide for us. You were proud of our achievements and we were of yours. You were a people's person, kind and generous, always happy to go extra mile to help anyone you could. You were loyal, my calming bow, the voice of my reason in my stormy moments. It's hard to think that I will no longer hear you say, <laughs> Many other memories we made of forever cherish and treasure them. We laughed so much. Taking time out of the weeks leading to your passing was one of the best days we ever did. Going to home was one of our best times we shared together. I will forever cherish that moment. You played goals on my finger. He brought love like I've never known. He gave life to our children. To me, a reason to go on. You were my bread when I'm hungry. You were my shelter from trouble when you are my anchor in life's ocean. But most of all, you are my best friend. The love I feel is immense. Carrying on without you is going to be the hardest thing to do. But I take little steps each day and trust in God. Rest well, my husband, my best friend. Rest well. On your way for we see until we meet again. We meet again. Always and forever. Adua Christ. Regardless of which, he was still always there. My earliest memories with my father were in the passenger seat of his car, driving nowhere of particular importance, but just being happy to toddle along with my best friend. Dad's Facebook biography reads, everyone who knows me can be divided into two groups, those who like me and those who still don't know me. And such is true. Although some characters Dad brought home were more questionable than others, he managed to live a life free of enemies, as he found a way to see the positives in everyone and treated everyone as his equal. He lived a life full of memories, and we have no doubt that knowing Daddy, he'll be making some new friends as we speak. He was the cool dad you could knock back some shots with, the dad you could spend all day watching Game of Thrones with, and the dad who would support you through anything. Whilst me and Sel would be playing video games, we could look back to find our dad sitting behind us, just watching the screen intently. He had no idea what the games were about, but he always aimed to enjoy anything that gave us joy. Whichever career path we chose, or whichever new goal we wanted to achieve, we could always count on Dad to find the answers we needed and to be our number one advocate. There is so much we'll take from this time with us. We'll miss our family cinema trips, teasing him for his love of cheap gadgets, laughing at TikToks together, and I'll miss hearing you chant roar around the house the most. We'll miss your sarcastically polite tone just before you send us down to the kitchen to pick some food. We'll miss you all. 
I will treasure all the life lessons you showed me. I will no doubt use it to come to that as much as you do. We will now be seeing the moment we think of the moment not to be in it, but we will continue to make it proud of the last days. Although we have only had you for a short time, thank you for always being there. We will continue to thank the Lord for granting us a good man and a great father. And we'll take solace in that God allowed us our last exchanges to have been ones that made us all smile. As it was, it's how it ended. We hope heaven received you the same joy you gave us whilst you were here with us. Please send our love to Auntie Annette and Grandma. Whenever I think about my brother, I remember his hearty laughter. He had one to everybody he met along the way. It makes me sad knowing that I will never hear his laughter again. But as I look back and remember the life that we had, I know he's smiling down at us with the brightest smile that he can give, knowing we remember him. Tony was a loving son, a supportive brother a loyal husband, a good father, and an amazing friend. He left us a part of him that neither time nor even his death can ever take away. Many may, know, many, many may not know that he got his nickname, Tony Bonner, after an actor from Skippy the Bush, Langaroo, when we were quite young, for those who are old enough. Our brother had such a big heart and had time for everybody. I remember the phone calls we had, me ranting how someone had upset me, and he would say, just chill, why? You know how they are, work around them. Tony was a comfort to many. He gave good counsel to our children. My brother was a glue that held the family together when responsibilities and adults would shift us off in different directions. He had the leadership of an eldest, the strength of a middle jam and the warmth of the pretend youngest. To all who knew Bona, he was always there for us. One call of his name, and you know he'll be there for you. In a heartbeat, he just gets there. One mention that you are in need. He would keep his last penny. In this ever-changing world, he was a constant. He's dead. Come, he will never change his mind. I, for one, always had a good weather in my life. From primary school, secondary school, university, my working life. I forget somebody I look up to. You grew up in trouble, you call him first. He will blast you, do with you. And later, talk to a parent that will one share that also. He was always there for me. My work life, married life. One phone call, no? One not do for you. Everyone will say, so much. So always have two brothers. Yes, we have so much fuss about him. Like I said, my older brother discussed everything. I mean, everything. He's never too busy. You call him, funny hour. Take your call. Mom was beside herself since when I was leaving Ghana. I don't know how she's gonna take it with. Annette left us about 30 years ago. And now Tony's gone. 
and I was leaving. I just gave him a hug and I just, she just, I said, Joshua, you. Joshua, you. And I only have a camera on one. I said, Ma, what's the show here? I'm fine, you know. <laughs> I know Tony would hate to see us crying in front of him. Yeah. Then he would just like us to laugh and shake his big stomach here and there. She would want us to cling to beautiful memories and forgive ourselves. What are your regrets? Yes, we do have, but she would like us to be strong to these darkest days ahead. That's what he always does. He gives life and strength when it seems so impossible. <coughs> Rest in peace, my brother. This is one of the most difficult things to do. Our lives are but a little while, so let them run as sweetly as you can, and give no thought to grief from day to day. For time is not consent to keep our hopes, but hurries on his business and is gone. Life, there's so much of it to be lived, so many links to create, and so much to love and live for. The only problem is the undefined length of time we have to fulfill it all. Tony de Graftier one was part of our fold, the gelling unit, always smiling, seemingly unstressed, the life of the party and the friend of all. To some, he was more of a brother than their own blood brothers and that was how he lived his life. On a hot September day in 1980, about 160 young boys, mostly 11 to 13 year olds, and some older, were dropped off at Panzer House in Prosec Lima. There was a mixture of cultures and backgrounds, a Jabas and Dadabas, but the Tamar boys were a settled group and stood out in support of each other. Bonan, as he was known from his childhood, was well known and well liked among his peers. He was liked and friendly with a back to share that stood out and many knew him as a parade, a name with numerous and verifiable meanings, whether it was for his love of God or his ability to keep calm under stress. I'll leave that to your own interpretation. Five years passed quickly and their relationship built there, that were for a lifetime. He continued with the sixth form at Tamasco and worked at ECG in Tamar in the procurement and purchasing department. Tony arrived in the UK in 2001, and like many of us in the UK chapter, worked on his degrees, completing his bachelor's of, Bachelor of Law degree at Brunel University, and his master's in international commercial law at Aberdeen. He completed further studies at BPP Law School with a diploma in legal practice at International Trade and Transactions. Socially, contacts between us here were made and we started meeting up regularly as Odadia 85. It was always exciting meeting up as we got older with lots of boys school banter between brothers. But the exceptional thing about Tony was his laughter at any banter directed at him. He was never seen upset, laughing off any jokes. His infectious laugh melting away any tension. He always had concern and care for his brothers. The frequent impromptu hosting of us whenever there was an opportunity. Calls to check up on you when you went quiet. Asking anyone who was asking on our WhatsApp platform. There was 
Never goes anywhere underdressed. Tony, this is for you. Can the other other guests join us to sing the school anthem, please? The other other guests.
and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Tony, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Tony in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayer. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith, until we all meet in Christ, and are with you and our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. I do need to get this in.
I'm very good. I'm very good. Thanks for everything. All the support. Everything. Yeah, I've seen Robert. Where you did this out as well. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. Everyone is good. Yes, yes. She's a big girl. I should be good. Yes, yes. I should be good. I should be good. I should